Hey guys, Jeremiah here with a public service announcement about wearing gloves. One of the things I've seen lately out in public is people wearing gloves to try to protect themselves from the coronavirus. The problem is it's clear that they do not understand concepts like disease transmission or cross-contamination. And that's a problem. It's a problem because it's a waste of supplies. It gives people a false sense of security that they're protected. And lastly, it's not helping to stop the spread of disease. For anyone who works in healthcare, they're trained in infection control procedures or guidelines. Today, we're gonna to show you guys what you need to do before you wear gloves, while you're wearing gloves, and then how to remove your gloves and dispose of them properly. So step one. If you're going to wear gloves you need to start with good hand hygiene so that means washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds after you've washed your hands and you've dried them you then want to use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer to sterilize your hands research has found the coronavirus is killed with an alcohol content of 60 percent or greater so whatever hand sanitizer you choose should contain at least 60 percent alcohol you're going to then apply the alcohol thoroughly to your hands. Give it 20 or 30 seconds uh, to really get absorbed. That'll give the alcohol some time uh, to kill any viruses or bacteria on your hands. And it'll also make it easier to put on your gloves. Next, you're going to put on gloves. Now, if you're wearing disposable gloves, they're just that. All right? These gloves are disposable, which means... After you've used them, for whatever the intended purpose is, you need to throw them away. Disposable gloves should not be reused. They should not be saved. They should not be washed. Uh, if you use hand sanitizer on them a bunch, it's going to dry them out. Um, eventually, what's going to happen is they're either going to rip or they're going to develop pinholes in them. And again, that's not going to offer you um, effective protection. Now, we need to remember, once our gloves are on and we start touching things, your gloves are now considered contaminated, right? Even if they appear clean, they're contaminated. So once you start touching things in public, it doesn't matter if it's the cart or the cash register or the gas pump, your gloves are contaminated. So you want to stay away from doing things like touching your face, touching your personal belongings, touching your phone, uh, because you're going to transmit the disease from whatever you've touched, it's now on your hands to yourself. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So once we have contaminated gloves on, in order to remove them, we're going to start by going to the wrist on one of the gloves. You're going to pinch at the wrist, pull it away from yourself. So pinch at the wrist and you're going to pull this glove away and inside out. By doing so, I've kept the dirty part of the glove inside. Now this hand is clean. I started with a clean hand. Roll the glove up in itself. You're going to slide your fingers at underneath at the base of the glove. Okay. We don't want to touch the outside of the glove. So slide your fingers underneath. And again, you're going to pull the glove up and away and inside of itself. So now the contaminated part of the glove is not exposed. Next, we're going to dispose of the glove appropriately. So throw it in the trash. Don't be an animal. One of the things I've seen lately, people throwing gloves on the ground. If they're not taking their gloves off, somebody's going to go, have to go out and retrieve that glove, and they could potentially become contaminated because the glove wasn't thrown away properly. Lastly, you're going to wash your hands again thoroughly with soap and water. The CDC says if you're in a situation, in an environment where no soap and water is available, um, you can um, alternate or um, use hand sanitizer in its place. But again, they encourage you to wash your hands thoroughly um, as soon as you get to where you're going, as soon as you have access to soap and water. Okay, so again, real quick, if we're going to wear gloves... You want to start with good hand hygiene, wash your hands, soap and water 20 seconds, apply your hand sanitizer, you're then going to put your gloves on. If you're in a situation where 
you know you're going into an environment and um, the area is heavily contaminated, you could put two sets of gloves on. That'll allow you to pull off your top layer of gloves and have clean gloves underneath. Now as a demonstration real quick, I'm gonna apply some shaving cream. This is to represent the coronavirus. So let's pretend right now we were at the grocery store. I've touched the cart. I've touched things within the store. My gloves are contaminated with coronavirus. I've seen people with gloves on using their phone. So now what they've done is they've cross-contaminated their personal belongings like their phone. I've seen people drinking or touching water bottles. They touch their keys. I've seen people eating food. Okay, In doing that, you, you've potentially transferred the virus um, from your gloves, which was external, internally. Um, I've seen people even driving away with uh, their gloves on. So that's not going to protect you from disease. So it's very important to make sure if you're wearing gloves, you realize that you could be cross-contaminating other objects. So again, in order to remove the gloves, you're going to take the glove at the wrist, pull it away and inside out of itself. You're gonna slide your hands underneath the base of the glove. Again, not touching the outside and you're gonna pull this glove inside out. Dispose of the glove appropriately. If you're gonna be out in public, I recommend everybody grabs uh, a container of alcohol wipes. You can also grab a container of Clorox wipes. In my description, I'll put a list of the CDC approved chemicals that kill coronavirus. Um, you wanna grab one of those items um, so that you can disinfect items um, while you're at your cart um, before you put them in your car. Um, this way you're not bringing any of that uh, potential virus, bacteria, that disease home. So I hope you found this video helpful or useful. Uh, if you did, please pass this video along to someone else. We want to try to stop the spread of the disease, this coronavirus, and uh, we want to make sure everyone stays safe.